Clearing out your conscience. Clearing out your conscience. You guys, at a deep level, do you feel like... uh, Do you feel like you deserve a good life? Do you feel like you deserve a good relationship? Do you feel like you deserve good in your life? Because I know many of you guys feel like you don't deserve anything you feel like you've made so many mistakes in the past that you deserve to have a shitty life that you've been done so many things wrong that you don't deserve any blessings I've been there I uh Self-worth is something that took me a long time to build up. I was just in Las Vegas, Nevada. I just got out here to California, and that's what I want to talk to you guys. Well, what I want to talk to you guys about today is, you know, this last week, I got into a discussion. I started sharing and arguing i was i was fighting for my standards you know and one of the things that i said in this mo- in that moment was i deserve this standard that i'm trying to set because i'm a good person i couldn't there was a most of my life i didn't feel like i could ever say those words and i want to teach you guys how to shift your self-worth to feeling like you deserve a good life regardless of the mistakes that you've made okay all of us have been young all of us have been dumb all of us have lied cheated stolen probably you know you haven't been perfect and if you're carrying the weight of your mistakes and you're not letting those things fucking go, you're destroying your future. You are self-sabotaging. You deserve a great life. So I'm out here in California. I'm visiting my cousin right now. I'm in route. I'm on my way to go do this collaboration with another coach. He does body transformations. He's been in the game a while. He's a G. I'll be posting a YouTube video up with him in the future. His name's Mike and uh, Gas Money. But I was in Vegas with Claudia, did a training, you know, a full day of eating training with her. She's a high level athlete, entrepreneur. She, had, you know, very successful. And so, anyways, I'm, I'm spending this, this week on the move. And earlier in the week, I had so many moving parts going on that I was a little bit, you know, um, There's just a lot going on. I was trying to get a lot of shit done. And I got into an argument. And that argument turned into an argument about standards. Okay? Your standards are not what you want. They're what you settle for. Your standards in life are not what you want. They're what you settle for. They're what you fight for. Your wake up time. The time that you you actually get out of bed. Not the time that you want to get out of bed. The body fat that you carry, what you actually are, not what you want. Your standards are the results that you have. And I was fighting in this conversation for higher level standards. And I I knew I'm the type of guy where I take on all the responsibility. If there's a problem, it's my fault. If there's an issue with you, it's I did it. I'm putting it on my back. I'm putting all the weight on my back and I'm going to take it. And uh, in this conversation, I said, you know what, this time, in this, this moment, 
I normally take all the responsibility. I'm not going to take responsibility for what we're talking about here today. I'm not doing it. I deserve a higher level of standard. I deserve it. I've been a good person. And I was so happy for myself that I said that, guys. I want this feeling for you. I want you guys to feel like you deserve the standards that you want and that you're willing to fight for them. I want you to get rid of the low self-worth. For a long time, I had low self-worth, right? I, I, I didn't even like my picture taken. If you try to take a picture of me, I would dodge, I would dodge it and look the other way. And a lot of that low self-worth came from making mistakes, from, from betraying people, from uh, failing, okay? From not following through and listening to myself, I would say, you know, I'm going to work on my business when I get home from work and I would barely do anything. I would say I wasn't going to drink and I would drink. I would, you know this cycle of saying I was going to do something and then not doing it was a big problem in my life. And I was delusional to the fact that I wasn't following through. Deep down inside, I had low self-worth, guys. And um, for a long time, whenever somebody betrayed me, lied to me, I felt like I deserved it. I felt like, you know what, I've messed up in the past. I got bad karma. Guys, you, you, when you do a bad deed, you're going to carry that energy. A bad deed is bad energy. You do a bad thing, you're going to remember doing that bad thing. You lie to somebody, you cheat on somebody, you steal from somebody, you lie to yourself. You're going to carry that thought, which is a form of energy, inside of your soul. Thoughts are energy. Okay, just like water is a form, water and ice cube are, an ice cube are interrelated. It's a, it's a different form of matter. Thought is energy. So you're going to carry around this negative energy about things that you've done that are wrong. How, how are you going to, when are you going to let go of that energy? When are you going to stop carrying that weight? The way that you will finally get rid of that negative energy is you start being good to you daily. Guys, the easiest way for you to start being good to you daily, a couple of things. Number one, you just spend time with yourself every single morning. Invest into you with your time. You wake up at a respectable hour that you appreciate. You journal. You read. You spend time with you and your thoughts. You work on you every single fucking day. You go get your training in. By working on your, tra by doing your training, you tell yourself you're worthy and you deserve the body that you want. And you follow through with these actions little by little. And these actions create self-worth. Positive action creates positive self-worth. If you do not have self-worth, you need to spend more time investing positive action into you. It took me a long time time personally to get rid of the negative karma that I was carrying around the, the, from the times that I failed as a leader overseas to the mistakes that I made in my youth I carried the, the, the guilt of not being perfect and I thought that I did not deserve high levels of success and happiness because I had been a bad person but little by little I started working on myself with the morning routine the training the personal development the journaling and eventually one day which happened this last week I woke up and in this argument, I woke up and in this argument, I say, I deserve this level of standard because I have put in the work. I've worked on myself. Okay. I want you guys to feel good about you. You deserve to feel good about you. And all you have to do is keep doing the damn work on you and you will feel the way that you want to feel. You can't stop. Never stop. If you make a mistake, you slip, get the fuck back up and start working on you some more. Train, journal, be disciplined with your wake-up time, eat good meals, say no to vices, and little by little, that negative karma will strip away. And the last thing that you can do to really pick up your self-worth is leave people with the impression of increase. Every single, this is my challenge to you guys, every single person that you meet, I want you guys to leave them better than you found them. 
I, my mentor taught this exercise to me and I started implementing it, I started complimenting people, making them feel good and just impressing good positive things into them. And over time, I became a better person, I became more positive, I saw the world better. I no, long, I no longer thought that everybody in the world, um, I, I, basically, I basically got myself in a position where I was actually investing into other people versus running around in my own head thinking negatively about people, okay? And that's, that impression of increase made me feel good about me. So if you do not feel good about you, I want you guys to remember what I said. Spend more time with you. Learn to love yourself. Learn to do the daily disciplines. Invest into self and then invest into others. And through that, that negative karma will go away. And one day you'll wake up and you guys will feel so fucking good that you're you. I love you all. That's the message. That's what I have for you guys today. That's what, that's what God told me I needed to share with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little more motivational. But it's a great, there is a tactic there. It's to leave people with the impression of increase and daily work on yourself. Love you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Conquer all.